Welcome to the Global Learning and Agriculture Rocketbook Intro and Overview Video. My name is Opie McCubbins and I'm an Assistant Professor of Agricultural Education at Mississippi State University. I'm also an affiliate faculty member of the Global Teach Ag Network. And I'm also a huge fan of Rocketbooks and I'm very excited to provide you with a brief introduction to Rocketbooks and some cool ways to use it. So let's first start with what is a rocket book? A rocket book is an endlessly reusable notebook. Uh, it has been specifically designed with polyester composite pages that allow you to write on them with friction pens that are erasable on standard paper. But on rocket books, you don't actually need to use the eraser that's on the friction pen. You just need some water. So you fill up these pages with your friction pens. Once you fill up the page or the entire notebook and you store those digitally using the rocket book app, which we'll talk about in just a minute, you simply get a wet or damp cloth wipe it off, and then you can reuse the notebook again. So the Rocketbook app is what allows you to store these digitally. So it wouldn't make sense for you to just take notes and then wipe them clean and not have a copy of them. The Rocketbook app allows you to scan and specify where it is that you want to send a copy of these notes. You can send them places like Google Drive, OneDrive, Evernote, or several others. You can even assign one of the symbols, which we'll go over shortly, to send it in an email. But hey, talk is cheap and seeing it in action is the real game changer. So let's walk through this process together. All right, so if you want to follow along, you're going to need a few things. So for those of you that received a GLAG conference in a box, those boxes included a Rocketbook Core notebook and a Pilot Friction pen. Now for those of you that didn't receive a conference in a box, don't fret. You can actually get printable PDF Rocketbook pages. Now they have several versions that you can download and, and use. So if you simply visit this short link that I created, it'll take you to Rocketbook's Dropbox and you can download several of their pages that they have made available for anyone to use. So we're actually going to download the letter.grid page and we're, we're going to come back to that later. So download this Rocketbook letter.grid and this is what it looks like. Okay. So that short link will be on the screen and I'll also include it in the video description. Now you'll also need the Rocketbook app. You can get the Rocketbook app on both the Apple and Google Play Store. So simply navigate to the App Store, type in Rocketbook, and download. Okay, so once you download the app, you can go ahead and create your account using whatever email that you are comfortable with. And then inside the app, there is a place to change the destinations that your notes are sent to when you scan them with the Rocketbook app. So before we go in, <clears throat> I actually want to set up a location that I'm going to send my notes. So I'm going to use my Google Drive. So I'm going to go into my Google Drive here and I'm going to create a folder called Rocketbook Scans. Okay. And then in the app, I can actually change the destination of my scans to send to this particular destination. So let's see how that works. Once you get your Rocketbook app installed, <clears throat> you've created your account, we can go ahead and launch the app on our device. <laughs> now, you'll notice that when you log in, 
all of the scan destinations default to the email address that you use to create your account. But this is really simple to change. Okay. So if it doesn't load into the destination section in your app, simply click on the little airplane logo in the bottom right side of the screen called destinations. Now the symbols that you see, if you look at your Rocketbook Core Notebook or at the PDF page that you downloaded, at the very bottom you'll see all of these symbols represented. And we can actually change each of these destinations to go to wherever we want. For this example, we're going to use that Google Drive folder that I just created. So I'm going to use the top one on the app, the Rocketbook logo, to send those scans to my Google Drive folder that I created. So I simply click on it, and then I'm going to click on Change Destination. And then you can see all of the different locations or destinations that you can send your scans to. And for this one, I'm going to click on Google Drive. It's already got my email associated with my Google Drive, so I'm simply going to click. And then once I'm here, you can see this second folder that says Rocketbook Scans. That's the folder I created where I want my scans to go. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to click on save. Okay. Now we're done. Now we can actually start taking notes in our Rocketbook notebook or on the Rocketbook pages. Now you can see all of these other settings. We're not going to mess with any of those for right now. We're going to jump over and we're going to start taking some notes. Now that we have our Rocketbook app set up, we can start taking notes. Now it's important to remember that if you're using the actual Rocketbook that you got in your conference in a box, that you have to use the Pilot Friction pens. Now if you're using the printable PDF pages, you can use whatever writing utensil you want, but on the Rocketbook itself, if we want to be able to erase it with a damp cloth, we have to use these specific pens. Again, another reminder, do not use the eraser that comes on these pilot friction pens on your pages <clears throat> because it will actually damage the page and then it kind of ruins the ability for you to erase. Okay? But let's take a few notes on our Rocket Book page. Okay? Uh, Rocket Book is awesome okay and again whatever however you use a notebook to take notes you know uh, appointment reminders you could do you know to-do lists however you use it and I've got a couple different colors so I'll jot those on this page okay. Glag rocks. Okay. So we get our page filled up. And now we decide where we want to send it. So for this one, when I set up my scan destination, I mentioned that I wanted to use the Rocketbook logo to send it to that Google Drive folder. So I'm actually going to mark that at the bottom of the page. I'm going to find the Rocketbook logo and I'm simply going to put an X through it. Now when I scan this page it will automatically know that that's my preferred destination for this particular scan. Now if I didn't mark any of this I could actually indicate on the app itself uh, but this just saves you a little bit of time. Now since our page is full, let's actually scan and see what that looks like. Again, we've got our page full. We're ready to scan. I've marked the preferred destination on the page itself. So now I'll navigate to the Rocketbook app. From here, I'm going to click on New Scan in the bottom. 
and it's going to it's going to tell me to position the page within the screen. So then I want to position the page itself, the rocket book within view of the camera and it will turn green, it'll take a second, it'll say that it is scanned. Okay? If you've got several pages of notes that you want to scan at once, you would just flip the page and scan, flip the page and scan. But we are only going to use that one page. After it scans, I'm going to click on Next. It's going to take a second to transcribe it. And then from here, I can actually change the name. So this will help you stay organized. So I'm going to change the title of this one to Rocket Book Demo. And done. And then when I'm satisfied, I simply click Send. It'll process, and then in a matter of seconds, that document is available in our destination. So let's check that out. So we'll navigate to the destination that we indicated in the app. Here, the Rocketbook scans, and there it is, Rocketbook Demo. So I can actually open this, and then there you see the notes that I took in the Rocketbook. Book. You've started taking notes, you've scanned, it's sent to several destinations, but let's say there are some specific things that you would like to do with your rocket book that um, you don't want to have to keep drawing in every time you erase. So let's say, for instance, um, you, know, you really love Cornell Notes and you want a template that stays in your rocket book, that doesn't erase every time you get your damp cloth and wipe the page. Well, you can do that. And to do that, you simply need a ruler and a permanent marker. So again, you could do this for any type of template that you want to stay in your notebook. But for this example, we're going to do, we'll just make a Cornell note template for our notebook. So okay. I'm gonna use my ruler to make my lines. For my Cornell note template. So all right now topic. Yeah, could also have you know an essential question. section for the date okay. and this quadrant for my Cornell note template will be overall questions this will be where my notes go and then this will be my summary section okay. So again, after this dries, I can then use my friction pen to start taking notes. So, you know, rocket book, notes from class session. The date. Now, when you know, I would scan this, but when I'm ready to reuse this template, I just take my damp rag and I erase the notes 
that I took with my friction pen and my template stays there for endless reuse. Okay. Now, this is if you have the actual rocket book. You could do the same thing on a printed page, on the printed PDF, or if you wanted to do so, you could actually edit it before you print the page itself. So let's see what that looks like. Let's edit one of those printable PDFs that we downloaded earlier. Remember, we downloaded the rocketbookletter.grid page. Now, I'm doing this on a Mac, but a Windows machine will have similar capabilities. For this, I'm going to navigate to my downloads folder, and I'm going to open the rocketbookletter.grid page. And I'm going to do that with the preview app that is on my Mac. Okay. And you'll see this is our rocket book page. Okay. So again, let's say we wanted to create that Cornell template. Okay. It's really easy in this preview. We just want to click on this little markup toolbar and it will show us all of the functions that we now have. Okay. So again, we're going to create that rocket book template that we wanted. So I am going to add those sections in. I'm going to add just a solid line. We're going to move that up to the top, and I'm going to stretch it all the way across. Okay. I'm going to add another solid line, and this one will separate my questions from my notes section. We'll take this almost to the bottom. We'll add one more here so that we can add our summary section at the bottom. So now we need to add our text. Just click up here. Add our text. We're going to do um, uh, topic. I'm going to change the font color here. So when I print it, it's easier to read. I'm going to move this up to the very top. I'll add my date box. Put that up here. Questions that here I've got two more to add one for the notes and then one for the summary section at the bottom okay. so I've got my template and now I simply click File. And for this, I'm going to click Export. I'm going to export it as a PDF, but I'm going to call it Cornell Template Rocket Book. Then I'll save this. Okay? And I can print it over and over again. And I just simply navigate to my Downloads folder where I exported it to. And when I open it, It'll open in my PDF viewer. Let me get that on the screen for you. And you can see it's a template that I can use over and over again. So you've got your Rocket Book page scanned, it's in the destination that you identified. 
Now you want to reuse that page. Now this is for those that have the actual rocket book. Your rocket book, in addition to the notebook and the pen that it came with, also came with a rag. You can use a paper towel if you want, but it comes with this, so we'll just use this. All you need to do is simply get it a little bit damp. If you have a little bottle of water, you can just kind of dab it on there, uh, dip it in into some water, and then you just go to your rocket book page with that damp cloth and you erase. Okay. After you do that, we're going to get all this excess moisture off there. And then we'll just allow that to air dry before we close the notebook or before we try to write on that particular page again. And folks, there you have it. That's uh, you know, a, a very quick introduction and overview of how you can use Rocket Books. However, you know, if you have the actual Rocket Book or if you wanted to use the free printable pages, okay, we just set the destination to a Google Drive folder. But again, it could be an email. You know, think about the possibilities of connecting our students if we go beyond just using it ourselves. You know, having virtual pen pals, digital pen pals, where they're writing handwritten letters and then scanning them and sending them to an email to a student in another part of the world. Think about how powerful that connection would be. Now, this is, again, just a quick intro and overview video. We're going to talk about more of these possibilities later on in uh, the GLAG community year. So... Dive into using Rocketbook, regardless if you have the physical Rocketbook or if you need to get the printable PDF pages. Play around with the different scan destinations. And then make sure that you ask questions inside uh, the GLAD community, inside the Whova app. And let's come up with a million different ways for how we can use this to connect our students, to start building some relationships and connecting people from different parts of the world. As always, please reach out if you've got questions or if you need help diving in to the awesomeness that is Rocketbook.